This is Bonholm Colony, nestled on the shores of Lewis and Clark Lake, which is part of the Missouri River. Bonholm Colony was settled in 1874 by Schmied Lloyd Hutterites. They fled Russia to escape religious persecution and war. Their journey took them across the Atlantic Ocean and half of the continental United States to settle in the Dakota Territory. The land was secured and purchased from U.S. government land agent Walter Burley. In 1874, land went for $10 per acre. 2,500 acres of land was purchased with cash and a small bank loan. In the year 2022, this same land would sell for close to $8,000 per acre. Just like before in Russia, the new settlers farmed the land and raised livestock, pigs, cattle, and sheep. They lived off the land and God's many and gracious provisions. On Bonhomme Colony, there were buildings that had been constructed before the Hutterites arrived. You can still visit the original carpenter shop and what used to be the trading post. These original buildings were built mainly of chalk rock, a type of limestone lining the banks of the Missouri River still today. War came again to the Hutterites with the Selective Service Act signed into law in 1917. Leadership decided they must sell the buildings and land and relocate north to Canada. Canada was offering clemency to those who were pacifists and land to all new settlers. A buyer was quickly found, but when the day of the sale came, he didn't show. The story goes that he turned up the following day to close the deal, but was met with this statement from the leadership. A different day, a different deal. And he was sent on his way. No one really knows why the decision to stay was made. Ultimately, Von Holm Colony never did relocate to Canada. And by the grace of God, the young men were able to avoid conscription. The people of Bonholm Colony today are thriving. Currently, 47 families and 195 people make up the population. The colony's livelihood hasn't strayed much from how their ancestors lived. Farming remains the foundation today, but the scale and technology have significantly advanced. Today, Bonholm Farms 5,300 acres of land, growing mostly corn and soybeans. The colony also raises a variety of livestock, both for sale and their own use. Bonholm is currently home to 1,400 hogs, 500 head of beef cattle, 350 dairy cows, 1,000 sheep, 600 layer chickens, and thousands of broiler chickens. The Lewis and Clark Lake offers many things to enrich life. Colony members will, in time of leisure, hike along the shores. Fishing is also popular. Bonhomme Colony is truly a place filled with history and is a testament to God's grace. Visitors are always welcome to come and see for themselves. And now, with nearly 150 years of history, Bonholm is showing no signs of slowing down. With the size of their population, it is necessary to make plans for the next sister colony to be built. That colony will no doubt, in time, have their own story to tell. <laughs>